right, right now. And gentlemen, our eighth bout of the card is back under kickboxing rules. And it is set for three two-minute rounds in the featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out the dynamic mortgage concepts, red corner, please welcome to the cage, Sam Gaffney. And this card's been a little different. Before, Robin, we've had a lot more you sprinkle in the, the kickboxing with more MMA. Not as many MMA fights tonight. Obviously, we're going to culminate with the biggest and most look forward to bout in Lethway fighting coming up for the championship between Cyrus Washington and Dave LaDuke. But prior to that, the opportunity to see different arts, yes. art forms. We've seen some skill with the kickboxing so far yes, tonight. Yes, yes. I'm enjoying it like crazy, man. And, and, and seeing it all together, I mean, if you go, to a, you go to a rock festival and you see eight or ten different bands, they're all different. You know, it's not supposed to necessarily be the same thing. You blend it all together. And, and we're seeing a lot of different types of performance, a lot of different types of, uh, you know, of school, of rule sets and skill sets, and, and I'm loving it. The other thing about this is when you see uh, kickboxing debuts, and, and JR will know, tell you about this as well, we get to see guys from the very beginnings. Yeah. Like we, I talked to you a moment ago about Archie Colgan. You'll see him. You'll see Archie coming up into the professional leagues. He's maybe got one or two amateur fights left. You kind of get a feeling as you see guys develop of which ones have it. Yeah, you certainly do. And and sometimes that feeling is just something in how they go out and perform. It's not the big flashy stuff necessarily. It's the, the mindset, the unshakability, that, that desire to keep getting better, you know, uh, very coachable. Like, there's so many elements to it, but it's, it's a real gift. I mean, a lot of our viewers literally if they just got LeDuc versus Cyrus Washington, that's all they were expecting. Right, right. So they get to see all these young fighters. They get to see the development, you know, of how they perform and how they develop. Uh, the Salisbury brothers from High Altitude Martial Arts, you've seen them come out with this guy. Just they're coaching, they're different thinkers. Uh, it's, a, it's a really, really cool thing. There's so much more here even than I was expecting. Gaffney making his way into the ring. And his opponent, Fighting out the nutrition company of Cheyenne Blue Corner, please welcome to the cage, Joseph Herr. And one thing about that too, you're talking about the coaches that come with these fighters. Yes, uh, Genesis Training Academy is in the top five, as is Elevation. I mean, those are two special gyms. Not everybody can train there, but there's several other really good gyms in Colorado. And it's an opportunity of when you get a chance to go to a, a, and learn from guys that have been there, the guys that are doing it well, that's what you really relish. For sure. And systems are cool, and training partners are cool, but sometimes it's just the right coach. You know, Joseph Hers is, is uh, at Victory MMA. Now, Victory has a coach that can give you specific attention, somebody who's traveled the world and fought at the highest level himself, and sometimes that's just the right fit. Sometimes it's the relationship between the coach and the individual. There's many facets. The, best, the biggest gyms and the biggest name gyms are not perfect for everybody. A little pop smoke here going. Got it on me, like the walk-in music. Look at Mo. Got the shades on. He's got, you know, he's looking all right. Will Joseph Hur look all right? That's the key. Both these fighters, this is their kickboxing debut tonight. Both of them come out of strong teams. You know, it's de debut doesn't mean what it used to mean. It really doesn't. The experience of the fight, of the lights, of knowing that the, seeing those cameras, you hear our voices just out of the corner of your ear. All of these things, these are novel experiences. And novel experiences are very difficult to process when you're in a cage fight, right? They are. Uh, but aside from that, and that's the big part of this first experience, but when it comes to just skill and ability and toughness and desire, these kids are already high level. And Robin, you bring up a great point. When you're Listen, it may be a debut fight, but they've been in this gym training, right. and who have they been training with in those yeah. rooms? Yeah, the highest level people. You know, you, you get to train with Corey Sandhagen, and, you, and you're two fights into your career, you know, and, and that makes a difference. And you, you live it, you see what they do, and for a lot of these guys, they just, they've been waiting years to make their debut. Hey, coach, am I ready? Well, you're, yeah, you're probably ready, but why don't we work on this? And sometime years later, because really, 
too early isn't great. Too, a little too late is cool. You know, hey, we, we wish we could have got in there six months ago, but there's a global pandemic and the world has changed. Why don't we just get way better? And now, you're, now here you are, you're ready. And again, you can't hurry things sometimes. You, as again, you watch some of the MMA divisions, the older fighters, 30 and above, yeah. are winning championships. That's right. It's, but some of them took their first fight at 24. Some of these kids take their fights at 17, you know? It's amazing. Bout ready for this one. This is our eighth bout of the evening, 12-card bout. We have two title fights coming up prior to the Lethway title fight between Cyrus Washington and Dave Ledoux. Ladies and gentlemen, this featherweight kickboxing bout is brought to you by Shortline, Buick, and GMC. Let's meet our fighters first. Fighting out of the Dynamic Mortgage Concepts Red Corner from Aurora, Colorado, representing High Altitude Martial Arts, Sam the Psycho Saiyan Gaffney! And his opponent, fighting out of the nutrition company of Cheyenne Blue Corner from Kenosha, Wisconsin, representing Victory MMA, Joseph Hurr! Talk about fighter identities. <laughs> Gaffney literally let out a roar and tensed up his whole body. And her, he's actually, you can see him working on breathing exercises, planned breathing exercises, so completely different. I was going to offer up a nickname for Joseph. Joseph Ben-Hur. Come like on. It. I like it. You know? <laughs> I like it. Look, killed, trying to, you know, there's, a, there's an optimum level of arousal, they call it, emotional arousal, they call it. And that optimum level is different for everybody. And these two may not know what theirs is yet, but Gaffney lit his fuse, and then her is staying chill. And, and you're gonna see, again, the reach advantage that you're gonna see by Gaffney. And Gaffney coming out, and he's not only got the reach advantage, he's very, very quick. Yeah, he is. But I like the first couple of moments I saw from her as he went and sort of pulled aside a shot. When he came in, he took his head off the line a couple times, right there. Yep. See the way his head's moving? And came in with the overhand right, that one scored. Ooh, ooh, we got a good one. You know that term, sometimes people say head movement. Yes, we are moving the head, but it is the movement of our core and our torso that makes that happen. And you see that when you see Joseph Herr. Watch, the, watch his upper body. He's not just, wob he's not a, a wobble head, a wobble doll or whatever you call those things. See, his whole torso is moving and he's flowing with his shoulders. Yeah, and the other thing about it is when he's dodging punches, it's not a jerk of the head. He's just getting out of the way by that little bit you were talking about. And, and, the, and the slip loads the counter. So it, it flows one into the other. The feints there by yeah. Sam Gaffney on that front snap kick have had some effect. The, the observations we're making about her are aesthetic. They look nice, he's moving nicely. But it is Gaffney who's doing all the hitting right now. Yeah, and Gaffney is using that front snap kick to keep that distance, to find his range. Then he backs up and goes with that turning kick. And. People watching this right now, if, if they just tuned in and see these guys fighting, and you're like, this is their kickboxing debut? That's shocking. Yeah, I mean, both of these fighters, very in tune with what their weapons are and how to attack each other. Big time. 10 seconds left in this opening round. Her comes up with the overhand right. Gaffney almost leaned into a kick there. Gaffney spinning kick, but nobody home there. So Gaffney used a little more energy. See, hands on the hips and, and uh, squatting now to, to talk. He used a little more energy than Joseph Herr did. JR. Well, I'll just quote a line from Mr. Robin Black. Gaffney's the one doing all the hitting, 10-9 Gaffney. <laughs> yeah, and absolutely short and sweet right there. And he's right. Yep. But And Gaffney using not only his quickness, but his ability to continue to keep the fight at bay with that front kick. See the, the flow, the punch into the other, and he's a little jumpy there as her, but it, like, like we all said, who's doing all the hitting? It's Gaffney. Um, and when, you know, the job here isn't to say this guy hit that guy, this guy hit that guy. The job is as the best we can to share observations about the artist and the art. Um, so sometimes you'll end up talking about what looks nice. Yeah. But what looks nice ain't what we're doing here, really. No. The root of it is hit that guy a lot. And, and it, what happens now is in between the corners, what adjustments is Her going to make for this second round? Did the coaches see something that he can do to take advantage of 
what they saw in the opening round. Yeah, I, I think the biggest one is whatever we thought, how, whatever distance we thought, however many steps or how large of steps we thought it would take to get inside to hit him, it's taking more than we thought. Yes. So, so it, whether it's two steps or a big step or exploding it, we need to move forward more when our, when our openings are there. Uh, it's a good five, six inch height advantage right now. Her's got the shorter legs as well, but let's see if he can negotiate that distance a little more. So Gaffney landed, her caught it, and then punched him behind it. But easy to talk about the fluidity of the small muscular Joseph Her putting it together. But Sam Gaffney is having a great fight, and, and I don't want to do him a disservice here and get distracted. This kid is fighting. No, and he's picking his moment. You saw him get that kick underneath, underneath the armpit in that rib cage, and that's a tough kick to target, but he's able to get that. He's been precise with his strikes. He's also, when he hits, watch hit, watch where he moves. Just slightly away and on a small angle. And he'll do it again here. He's gonna take his chance, he's gonna hit, and he just floats out, never straight back. And he sees the one danger when Her comes in, he backs up a little bit. Her able to able to score. Good work by Her to try to corner him, but better work by Gaffney to escape him. And Gaffney just it, you can't predict where he's moving backwards. That's a very hard skill to learn for a young man. The natural thing when some fire is coming at you, we just move away from it. But he's moving away from it on different different tangents. And I think Hers finding that frustration where he's not able to, to get into a combination type situation because once he throws that one punch, you see what's coming off Sam Gaffney. Also, take a, and this is true of both of them, but look at the eyes of Sam Gaffney. Just look at his eyes. This guy's in deep focus here. Yep. He's seeing what's coming, and he's the one exploiting this. And right there even, there's commitment from Joseph Herr, comes in with his, uh, fires the straight right, and explodes forward, and Gaffney, eyes on him, floats away, lands the shot, bounces in, lands the shot, bounces out. Front snap kick right there by Gaffney, and Herr with the overhand right at the end of the round. But again, Gaffney able to move off of it, not allow it to be more of a combination. JR, a little more action towards the end of that round. Her able to get a couple punches in. Yes, there was. His best three punches of the fight. However, there's only one thing that Her can do and needs to do, and that's close the distance. And so far, Gaffney, knowing that, is able to keep him from doing so. Gaffney, again, landed the majority of the strikes, managed the ring the best. So I don't think those three punches that landed for Her at the end of the round were enough. I have it again, 10-9. For Gaffney. And again, Gaffney knows what his advantages are. And when he throws a kick or he sees her come in, he just moves that slight little yeah. bit to adjust. Yeah, he, I mean, I'm kind of blown away by how good some of these debuting fighters are. We like to find simple things to say about what he's doing. Oh, he's, he's moving out well. He's managing the distance. But beauty should not be simplified necessarily. Sometimes it takes a lot of, of you know, in-depth things to explain what he's doing because he's doing many things. He's developed a feel for where he needs to be. And even there, although he got grabbed and pushed around, by moving towards her, he took away the space. Space is where the chaos lies. But when he's all the way on the outside, he's making the chaos. When he's all the way on the inside, he's taking away uh, Joseph Her's chaos. All right, third and final round, and Her, in JR's opinions, down two rounds done. Let's see what this third round has in the offering. Her trying to close that distance, but Gaffney continues to move. There's that kick underneath the rib cage again. Her's doing a lot of chasing and not enough cutting. Uh, but that is a credit to Gaffney. That's not some flaw in Her's game. We'll often do that. What's he doing wrong? It's not about what he's doing wrong. It's about what Gaffney's doing right. Gaffney is making it very hard for him to get to him. And Gaffney has been scoring with the legs, but comes over with that overhand left and kind of keeping her off distance. There's that right kick again then go to the front snap kick. So he's doing all kinds of things to stay busy. Gaffney's just really tough also. He's to smooth. Read. Yeah, really hard to read. Like, his rhythms are all different. You know, his timing's different. He's jagged and irregular in the way he moves. It's, it's hard to get him. Her's been able to land a couple of punches and a couple just short of the distance. He's getting it there, to yep. him there. Yep, he is. He hit a body shot, then he came back up top. Her goes in the knee to the body. Gaffney pretty much seeing her have his best round as her comes in. A little attacking here, now going back with that knee. 
Joseph Herr, you know, it takes a lot to continue to push when you're getting beat up when you move forward. You know, we use the idea of the child touching the element. You touch it a couple times, you never touch it again. But Joseph Herr will keep touching that element if it'll get him to, to Sam Gaffney. And that deserves a lot of respect. And a credit to Herr here because one thing he's doing, he knows he needs the round badly. He's continuing to press forward, not allowing Gaffney to kind of counter. Yeah, uh, Joseph Herr, whether he wins this fight or not, uh, he's, oh, there's a, a good hard, uppercut. Yes. Nice hard yeah. left uppercut landed. But he's learned a lot about himself and his willingness to go through the fire here as he's really pouring it on at the end of round three. Yeah, he's landed some great shots. He, I think he won that round. We'll get JR's opinion. But uh, again, a close fight, and I like what Hurd did. It too. was a desperate third round for him. Hurst Corner told him he had to come out, give it everything he had, not stop moving. He did exactly yes. that. That was just the way that he needed to come out and win the third round. I don't think it was enough to win the fight, but I did give it 10-9 for her in the third, making it 29-28 overall. Yep. And you know what, Robin, in this case, if he loses by split decision, that's not what he's going to remember. It'll be, okay, I got some experience, but I can remember the third round yes. going forward. Yes. And also, you know, just th you don't know a lot of things about yourself before your fight. You hope that you're the type of fighter who will push through it. You hope you're the type of person who, when it comes down to it and you're exhausted, you'll go. But now he knows he is. Right. You know, like he knows that. That is factual. And so even if he loses this fight to Sam Gaffney, who also knows that he can handle it when it's pushed on him at the end, he's not going to break. These guys learned a lot about themselves tonight, and, and, uh, and I hope that they're both proud of this fight. Well, not only that, he was able to do it in a third round where you always question, okay, have I done enough yeah. cardiovascular-wise to get through this and to, to go at that pace, and he certainly did. <laughs> that left uppercut was something, too. And Gaffney felt it, and Gaffney just kept doing his thing. And so he knows that, too. You're going to get punched hard by small, strong, muscular fighters at 145 pounds. Gaffney did. He knows he can take it. And it's what you always say. When you're in a fight, despite even if you're an amateur and you dominate, you're going to eventually run into somebody where mm. you're going to get hit. It doesn't matter. The higher you go, the skill level is going to be more. And you, you see both these guys here. I thought for a debut fight, it didn't look like a debut fight oh, to me. Oh, nope. Hey, it's easy to be the hammer. Let's go around hitting oh, yeah. stuff. You know, being the nail for parts of these fights. That's where you're going to learn what you. Ladies need to learn. and gentlemen, both these fighters three, are in great full shape. Rounds yep. of kickboxing action. We go to your judges' scorecard for the official decision. Judge number one scores about 29 to 28, Gaffney. Our third judge scores at 30 to 27, Her. And our second judge scores about 29 to 28, declaring your winner by split decision, Sam, the Psycho Saiyan Gaffney. So you know what we learned about that one judge? That they really favor people pushing forward because that's what you would have had to, to get see. a 30-27 yes. score. And that's what I was, and you see different things. I did not see it that way. Nope, I, saw, I saw 29-28 for Gaffney as JR did, but we're not in that situation. We're not in that corner. And that's why I didn't say, hey, we learned that's a bad judge. No, we learned that's a human and humans have, see things and interpret things the way they do. And that person, Sam that Gaffney, what a show. Pressure. That's Hard why there's three judges decision. and not one. Split decision win. How are you feeling right now? Uh, tired, but very, very relieved and very, very proud. You have a def definitely have a reason to be proud. You know, the first, second, and third rounds, you did such a good job of using your distance, cutting angles, switching almost seamlessly between southpaw and orthodox. Is that something you worked on for this fight because you knew he was shorter, or is that just who Sam Gaffney is? Uh, that's just who I am. I, I got a shout out. My coach is at High Altitude Martial Arts, Ryan Salisbury, Ashley Maltz. Uh, Corey Sandhagen, everybody out there. You know, that's, that's what we do at High Altitude Martial Arts. That's our style. We play. We do ninja stuff like that. It's, it's what we do. Sam, it was an impressive performance, and if that was any indication, we will be very happy to see you in the cage again soon. Have a good night. And uh, I just want to say one thing. Um, I, I don't harbor any ill will towards this guy, but uh, Manuel LeCrew, you and I were supposed to fight on this card, and then you got injured. I had... No, no ill will against you or anything. I wish you the speediest of recoveries, but I'd love to run it with you. Um, 
So let me know. I, I think it'd be fun. But get well soon, man. Sam Gaffney, ladies and gentlemen.